and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. I have filmed this so many times because A, I'm not happy with the lighting and I just, yeah, I don't know. I keep fluffing up my words. It's the third time. We're going to go with it. Going to be talking about ghosting. Ghosting is a stop of communication suddenly and without any explanation. And you can be ghosted in friendship with any relationships really if you're dating if you if you're seeing someone i think it's the same that's the same thing but if you're in a relationship any you can literally be ghosted in any form of relationship when i was ghosted i kind of want to talk about how i felt so when i was ghosted i was ghosted by you know people i was seeing talking to but i have never actually been ghosted like in a in a relationship uh sort of Ish, but not like full on relationship and I haven't actually been ghosted when it came, comes to friendships either but the experiences that I have had when I was ghosted and how it made me feel was that I got felt really frustrated and annoyed because I felt more frustrated and annoyed in the fact that I couldn't quite get why someone couldn't just be honest because I'm quite an honest person I felt really rejected and also massively questioned myself as in what had I done what had I said like what like what was it about me that this other person didn't like i also felt and i don't know if anyone else has felt this that before the ghosting i could feel it coming i mean everyone's situations are going to be completely different but before i was ghosted i could sense it it's like the com communication kind of gets less and less i thought i'd just share just some things that i did when i was ghosted i firstly i just let it all out i accepted the emotions that i was feeling obviously i'd say in the last year maybe year and a half i've been into journaling so i actually would journal and write it all out and just be really sort of like what well, anything that was coming to my head about it just letting it all flow out from my head onto the pen, onto the paper. Um, so it's kind of just releasing it. But it's also, I said earlier, accepting those emotions, like accepting that you're feeling frustrated. And it's quite, I feel like it's quite easy to be kind of like, no, I'm fine, I'm strong, I'm fine, it doesn't hurt, they're lost kind of thing. And yet it's great if you've got that confidence and you can feel like that but if you don't just be be honest be raw be vulnerable and think this is hurting this is rubbish i feel pooey um, like just accept all those feelings and kind of ride them out so that was kind of like i'd say the first stage and also i guess it kind of in that stage just surround surround yourself by your tribe, the people that mean most to you, talk to the people around you, how are you feeling, let them know, just talk it all out. Second thing is I deleted numbers, social media, anything, any connection I had with that person, I deleted them. That sometimes can be quite hard because you're like, what until they get back in contact? You've got to remember that it is hard to do it, but it kind of is also another way of releasing and letting go. And then you're not tempted to contact them because at the end of the day, they aren't wanting to communicate with you and they aren't wanting to have a relationship or be in your life. And as hard as it is, you have to just accept and know that, you know, that's them. Obviously, it's so easy for me to be talking about it now because I have experienced it, but I'm not experiencing it now. So I do appreciate that that second thing about deleting social media numbers is really really hard but you do kind of set find feel a sense of relief because also you're not like always waiting for them to like message you and if you haven't got any contact with them it yeah it's just an important step number three is just take some time to focus on yourself and sometimes when you're feeling these emotions you like i feel like sometimes you want to avoid focusing on yourself. I think it's really important to do things for you. Take yourself out for dinner, cook yourself a really good meal, get all the chocolate in, or go for walks, or listen to your favorite music. Do, do, do whatever whatever brings you joy, happiness. Just do something for you, focus on yourself, and 
kind of like nurture yourself because I felt quite that when I was that feeling of rejection you kind of feel quite sort of like knocked back and I feel you have to pick yourself up and part of the picking up process is just taking time you know like some people will say to you don't if you're like if say if you're ghost if say if you're ghosted and it's because you're dating someone someone will say oh well don't you know take some time out of dating you know maybe it's not the right time I also believe that if you want to if you know you've worked on yourself you've like took, taken some time for yourself you've you know deleted them you've sat with the emotions and you feel ready then yes go back out there get back out there you know go on dates again and you've got to do what's right for you so I think as long as you take that time for yourself however long that may be and just that's what I did I pulled in my own company so I guess my last bit is, is if I just want to like share, and I want you to hear this if you have been ghosted recently, I just want you to know that it is totally their business. It's nothing on you. You are enough exactly as you are. Just meant that you and that other person, friendship, relationship, seeing someone, just you weren't meant to be in each other's lives. And even though, I call her Susan, silly Susan, will be trying to tell you otherwise and will probably be trying to pick apart your personality and you as a person. Those are just expressions and they're just feelings, they're not facts. So just know that you are enough as you are, you are worthy and the right person is out there for you. And that's obviously if you're seeing someone or dating someone. If it's a friendship thing, then the right friend is out there as well. Also don't also like to blame, like it, you get frustrated and annoyed with uh, someone for doing it, but you've got to kind of stay your side of the net and know that, okay, I wouldn't have done that, but you know, their business, I'm gonna stay my side of the net and just focus on myself. But yeah, that was, that was, you know, all about ghosting, what ghosting is, how I dealt with it, how I felt when I was ghosted, and a little message to you if you have been ghosted recently. Let me know if you found this video helpful in any way. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.